Today in the news, Intel's new Interconnect might blow PCIe out of the water. What's up guys, I'm Snows and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with Intel. During their Interconnect Day of 2019, they revealed a new Interconnect called CXL. CXL is short for Compute Express Link. They explained all about what they say is a new class of Interconnect, so I'm going to try and sum it up for you guys. They started by explaining why CXL is something that we need, and why PCIe can't really do what it does. The main thing being that PCIe is great in regular PCs, but not in data centers where large memory pools have to be shared across devices. Think about it this way. Currently, there are many types of memory in a data center. You can have a memory buffer like NVRAM, which isn't readily available for consumer PCs except in the BIOS, of course. You can have an accelerator with memory that would be something like a GPU or a specific compute card, or you can have a PGAS, which is usually found in data centers or thin client slash server systems where memory can be shared across multiple devices. Well, PCIe, according to Intel, has big troubles with sharing and properly addressing that memory, specifically the load it puts on the CPU and the latency it creates. So they redesigned the whole back end while keeping it on the PCIe physical layout, which means that it won't look any different from PCIe. And apparently, thanks to those changes, CXL has a theoretical bandwidth of 32 gigabits per lane, which is the same speed as PCIe Gen 5.0. And it should also have much lower latency than PCIe. So why not wait until PCIe Gen 5? It's not that far away, right? Well, data centers don't like to wait, and they constantly blow money on faster tech every single time something faster comes up. In that space, CXL actually competes with NVLink and the Infinity Fabric. So what does this all mean for us PC gamers? Well, it's possible that Intel uses this to integrate their current and future array of products to be more responsive, similar to the Infinity Fabric from AMD, but on steroids. This scenario isn't super likely to happen though. On the other hand, CXL could be used on a future PC, just like NVLink is used for SLI now, except this time with Intel GPUs. There are other theories, but the reason why it won't really affect us is because Intel admitted that CXL probably won't outlive PCIe and will probably just be absorbed into it once PCIe Gen 6 arrives. Now you might say, well, at the pace we're going now, PCIe won't come until the late 2020s. Well, PCIe Gen 5 is already standardized, so we could literally see Gen 6 between 2021 and 2024. <sighs> Anyways, I'll leave a link down below if you want to learn Learn more about it because my head is about to explode after a few hours of research and all the tangents that I had to take to try and not misinform. If I made any mistakes, please just correct me and put it down below. I'll pin it. Thanks. Moving on, let's get some rapid fire topics since we've been on the Intel thing for a while. First, AMD CPUs are outselling Intel's 2 to 1. Damn. The info does come from one specific retailer in Europe, but it's honestly not that surprising. The Ryzen 5 2600 is the most popular seller thanks to its low price, high core count, and great performance. Damn, that sounded like an ad. Then we have Google, who kind of let it slip that new hardware is coming. This happened during their Cloud Next conference titled Introducing Google Hardware for Business. The Pixelbook Group product management lead Steve Jacobs said, We think there are some unique things we can do differently than the Pixelbook and Pixel Slate that are going to really help give them what they're looking for when they're working in this new modern cloud-first era. By them, he is referring to on-the-go employees. His LinkedIn actually says that he leads Pixelbook, Pixel Slate, and Emerging. I wonder what that product will be. In GPU news, it looks like the NVIDIA GTX 1650 won't require a power cable. After some leaked renders of a Zotac card popped up online, everyone saw the lack of 6-pin. Now honestly, this isn't really surprising since the 50 series of NVIDIA cards usually lack the power pins. There are some outliers though, but really, 6-pins on a 50 series card? Don't do it AIBs, it's not worth it. The box art also confirms the suspected 4GB of GDDR5 memory, which is a really healthy amount of memory for 2013. Oh wait, 
Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for the news. Hopefully you've enjoyed and didn't have a headache after the Intel segment. Don't forget to leave a like if you liked it. A comment is always good for the soul. You guys stay frosty, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Ooh, power snap.